Hey, you made it. Right on, Frankenstein. Where's your mama? She didn't make it all. This was all a, an addition with a house and a house. Done. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure it out. I don't know if I want to spend two years cleaning the property up or not. The normal stuff you need to live rurally, I don't have anymore. Those calls started going out yesterday to residents. Um, what were those calls like and what are the next steps for them? Yeah, we, we did, did just get uh, started uh, late yesterday. So, um, and it's uh, obviously it's emotional work. Um, uh, it, it's, uh, you know, the, the, these are tough conversations to yeah. have. Um, and we're, um, I, I think people are also, um, you know, they're, they're being very, um, just very good with uh, the, the, where they're at right now. And people are getting pretty antsy. They want to get back and they want to see what's happening back at their houses. They want to go look at it. They want to go over to their place, look at it. They want to grieve. They want to get the process in gear. They want to restart their lives again. The CSRD is opening a resiliency center. If you think about someone that's lost their home, they've lost identification, um, they've lost insurance papers, so they've lost all of the things that they need to reconnect. So all of those services will be available there, including mental health services. We are working on a plan so that people that uh, have lost structures can get access to their homes. Um, to see that, we're going to hopefully going to have a bus trip going there next week. Hopefully after that, we'll be looking at evacuation order downgrades. We need to, people to know when they return, it will still be dangerous. There are a lot of danger trees in the fire zone and people will need to be very, very careful being in the forest. Trees are blowing over with even the slightest breeze. Tonight, a harrowing glimpse into BC's wildfire destruction and an unrecognizable landscape. A difficult return to a devastated community. You go from the sadness of the loss to those folks that are celebrating that they have something there. Returning to the North Shoe Swap region is a drive along a road of ruin. The fire was moving so quickly, there was very little anyone could do. An inferno that struck here so intense that firefighters couldn't save their fire hall. Gone through the process of allowing those that uh, lost structures to privately have time to see their properties uh, through these last couple of days. We are now moving into a re-entry phase and, and so it is a bittersweet day because we switched from one phase to another and this is an opportunity now for residents to return to their properties uh, which are still standing.